Hey everybody, Jared Gwines here for Dallas Vintage Toys. I'm just now realizing, I don't know if the audio is working. Is the audio working? Is it? It is, right? Okay. Jared Gwines here for Dallas Vintage Toys, and this is your last minute Christmas toy headquarters. So I'm here in the store, and I want to take you around to let you see what we got going on. If you are a North Texas resident or shopper, and you're looking to help Santa out with some Christmas gifts here, uh, just in time for the big day, this is your last chance. If you go online, you're not going to get it. If you get on Amazon, you're not going to get it. If you order something on the internet, it's not coming. You're going to go to Walmart, you're going to go to Target, you're going to go to some other place. Guess what? They're sold out. They got nothing. They got nothing. You got nowhere to go. You're out of options. It's all over unless you come to Dallas Vintage Toys. So I want to take you into North Texas' greatest toy store and show you some of the awesome availability and stock that you can come and shop today and tomorrow. Yes, we are open on Christmas Eve tomorrow until 5 p.m. So if you want to get out last, last minute, you have until 5 p.m. tomorrow, December 24th, 2021, to hop in the car, grab your wallet, bring your credit card, make sure you're pre-approved to spend some money right here at Dallas Vintage Toys. And we have toys for all budgets, shapes, and sizes. From $1 to $10,000 plus, we can take all of your money and your grandmother's money too. So if you'd like to come with me, I'm going to take you around the toy store. I'm going to show you some of the cool options that we have. And again, guys, this is not just infotainment. I'm actively trying to convince you to spend money with Sean Ninus and Dallas Vintage Toys. If you're not spending money, please plan to spend money tomorrow. And if not then, then maybe next week, that'd be great. We'd love to convince you to spend lots of money where our families and our futures are depending on it. Please, for the sake of humanity and our, the economy itself, we need you to spend as much money as possible. Please don't keep it for yourself. I know you'd like to keep it, but we would also like to have it. So please, with all earnesty, come here and buy toys. Now, do you get it? Okay, you get it, great. Okay, so um, I know we're gonna have some live viewers watching and I wanna take you around. And if you have a specific request you'd like to see, I'll show you, I'll show you. So we have a lot of old toys here. So it's called Dallas Vintage Toys because the toys in many cases are not new, they're vintage. So for example, you might remember one of the most iconic play sets of all time and definitely of the 1980s, the G.I. Joe USS Flag aircraft carrier. It's awesome. We have the box, we have the carrier. So we have the entire play set here. We have the toy, we have the box. It could be like Christmas in the 80s all over again. We have quite a bit of G.I. Joe stuff whether it's Rolling Thunder, whether it's the, uh, the Hovercraft Whale or the Headquarters Command Center. We have several different carded original figures from 1982, 83 and on, or if you like the old, old G.I. Joes from the 60s and 70s, we even have those as well. So I wanna ask, are there any comments or requests on the screen that maybe I can help out some of our live viewers? Um, do we have any complete Castle Grey Skulls in the store and how much? Hmm, that's a great question. So let's go over here and look. So Castle Grey Skull obviously is a very popular toy and uh, has been for, many decades ever since it came out so looking right in here i believe we do have a castle gray skull right here and as for the price of it i can't be entirely sure so we have a snake mountain right here is 349.99 and right here we have a gray skull and let me see if there's a tag somewhere on it i'm not seeing a tag on it it is in really good shape though I'll have to ask a member of the team how much the Gray Skull is, but it looks that we at least have this one right here. And if you like uh, Masters of the Universe and He-Man, we have quite a bit of it in stock. You can also check out our selection on DallasVintageToys.com. But again, even if you order from that today, you're not going to get it in time for Christmas. So this live video today is specifically for my North Texans audience or anyone who's willing to get in a car, truck, plane, or hovercraft to come here to Dallas Vintage Toys before 5 p.m. tomorrow, December 24th, to spend some money. So what else are people asking about? pieces um so i didn't see any pieces um so we have some ninja turtle stuff over here and there'd be some vintage stuff if you just want to show all three rows here so um they might just mean loose pieces as in like pieces of toys so as you can see we have the sewer play set with the box we have the party wagon um, we have a bubble bomber that looks uh, to be complete in the box there. Great. We have a pizza thrower. Uh, we've got some of the miscellaneous um, vehicles here. Uh, the mutant military tank. We have a technodrome also with the box. Awesome. And, uh, and quite a bit more. We have a lot of Ninja Turtles uh, inventory around. So, But here's just some of the stuff that we have here in the case. Some of the more iconic uh, pieces. I definitely had the Technodrome, the sewer playset, and the party wagon when I was a kid. I'd love to have those again someday. What's another question? Anything? No? Okay. Well, as you can see, we have 
thousands and thousands of action figures here in stock and toys from all generations, 70s, 80s, 90s, and today. We have stuff as recently as this month or last month and as far back as before you were born. And that's one of the really cool things about coming to Dallas Vintage Toys. You actually get to walk through somewhat of a toy museum. It's a little bit of an experience. And um, Sean and the team have taken a lot of uh, uh, a lot of pride and joy in putting together this toy this toy store. This is actually the third iteration of this, the toy store. So it started off in an old dental office. It even smelled like floss. Then they had the second location, which was great but teeny, and now we have the third location. Would you believe it? They're already busting at the seams of this place. They have to do sidewalk sales every few months just to get room for new toys. Uh, just off camera, it looks like we got an Ed 209. And talking about um, modern toys, here's a modern toy. So this is what they uh, call a battle damage Ed 209. Robocop, local favorite here for you Dallas people watching. Filmed right here at Las Colinas Studios uh, in, I think, 1988. And it was the first film that was going to be rated X, and they had to dial it back just down to rated R. But if you see the director's cut of uh, Robocop, it is ridiculously, like, like faces of death, like ridiculously gory. And um, it, it, it's, a, it's a fun thing. But Ed 209, cool robot here. I don't know what scale this is. What? It uh, goes right with the Vintage Mode. Ah, OK, so correct scale. To, uh, to the little guy here. Cool. And this just came in. How much is this guy? Uh, $69.99. $69.99. That'd be nice at twice the price. In stock right now at Dallas Finished Toys. Available today till 6 o'clock and tomorrow till 5 o'clock on Christmas Eve, December 24th, 2021. Get in the car and head here right now and bring your credit card with you. Gargoyles are here. Remember this great show. Oh, what a great show. We've got the gargoyles are in stock. We've got Goliath in stock. Got a lot of the NECA figures, a lot of collectible figures. We don't want you going to Walmart or Target. Okay, don't be so, don't be supporting these guys when you come. Uh oh, he's sent me something else great. This is I like I like this game. They bring Jared cool toys and let him. I, I like this game. This is the Force FX Elite. This looks like a dark saber. Yep. Oh man, the Mandalorian dark saber. Yeah. Only we have it right now. Okay, great. So again, so let's just say that you were somebody out there watching, and little Junior says, Dad. I need the Mandalorian Darksaber for Christmas or else you don't love me anymore. And you're thinking, oh my gosh, I can't have Junior thinking I don't love him anymore. I have to spend money to prove that I love him. How can I possibly spend money and time to prove to my child that I love him in the form of, a, of an expensive gift? And it's like, well, Dad, I wish you'd go to Dallas for his toys. And you're like, wow. Turns out Dad lives in Plano and he could hop in the truck, drive 26 minutes, get here without mm -hmm. any inhibitions, and come in here and give us how much money for this? $399. Listen, is Junior worth it? I think he is. You wouldn't have had them if you didn't want to have them. So since you had a child, you are now indebted to spend hundreds of dollars every single Christmas for the next 18 to 25 years. And please show love in the form of monetary gifts on, uh, in toys. That's how you love your children, folks. And, uh, and that's, that's what I'm going to say here from the point of view of Dallas Vintage Toys. If you love your child, you'll spend thousands of dollars on them in toys and go into massive debt. So please, uh, get pre-approved. 15% doesn't matter. You'll pay it back later. You could have Dark Saber today for $399.99. And uh, we're the only ones who have it. So you can do it somewhere else. We're going to go get the other dog saber. Not locally, right? Not locally. Yeah. So you say, I'll get that on eBay. No, you won't. Not in time for Christmas. Maybe for January 17th. You want to have you know, Christmas in January and be a lame guy. Or you can be a cool guy and come, uh, come give us $400 plus tax. And you're saying, I don't know. $400 is a lot of money. Well, it's less than $900. You ever think about that? Yeah. All right. There you go. I think $400 for a dark saber is cool. Yeah. Yeah. You can command the Mandalorians with this. I mean, that's like. It will go for more. It would go you for more. Five, six years, this will be 800. It's an investment. There you go. Give it to your kid and tell him to not open the box. That's also an option. It <laughs> happened to some kid somewhere, right? Because how do you think all these toys got here to begin with? Somewhere along ago was some weird kid, maybe like your kid, who got a toy and said, I will never open this. And then 35 years passed and it ended up in this toy store. I'm not even joking. There, someone somewhere bought a toy in 1985 and never opened it. And if they didn't, then how would they have gotten here? You ever think about that? You ever wonder how these toys get here in the first place? Hmm? Well, turns out there are people who buy toys and just look at them in the box. Would you believe it? I know. I know it's crazy, but it's a real thing. People buy toys and just say, wow, there's a toy in a box. Maybe it's Techno the Robo Dog. Maybe it's a Techno Puppy. And you say, wow, there it is. And there it sits. Yep. All right. So do we have any other questions, Miss Sapp? No. We do. What is it? The Shredder Mobile? Let's look. Is the Shredder Mobile complete? I don't know. 99. 
the Shredder Mobile. Is that down here? Oh, nice. That looks like the Shredder Mobile. I don't know if that is, though. Well, excuse me for not knowing exactly which vehicle is the Shredder Mobile. But this one here is $59.99. And this one up here, I think, is missing a headlight, and it's one forty nine ninety nine. But I don't think that I don't know if that might be the Shredder Mobile. But it's one hundred forty nine ninety nine. It's missing a headlight. What else? Okay. Well, I just want to take you around here and let you see that we have just hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of action figures. These would look great in a stocking or underneath the Christmas tree at your house. It'd be so great if you came in and bought these. Just be so nice. The Greedo here. We got a little Rhino alien here. Who wouldn't want Cabal from Mortal Kombat 11 or Shao Kahn? It's great. You can get Quint from Jaws. I mean, that's, that's an action figure I would want to play with this Christmas. You got all kinds of fun toys. You got Masters of the Universe uh, WWE crossover. There's The Rock. If you didn't know The Rock, he's everywhere. You got to watch out for that guy. Dwayne Johnson, man. He's on one. Human growth hormone. It'll make you big. Hey, if you want a giant brontosaurus, or I think they call it a brachiosaurus now. When I was a kid, this was the brontosaurus, right? But somewhere along the way, they renamed it brachiosaurus, and we don't have brontosaurus anymore. You ever wonder that? Whatever happened to brontosaurus? They got a, they got a, a rename. Got some cool stuff here from the Lion King. Here's a giant, giant X-wing. You could just, just fly around like that. No? Oh, did we lose? No. I'll need to know what happened. The shredder will be That's the wrong one. I bought it back. I oh. know we have it stored. Right. No, no. That's a good point. Hey, you should. But I'm a guest host. I'm actually not a. I'm not actually an employee here. Um, you're right. You're right. Toy experts should know, but I'm not a toy expert. I'm Jared, your host on this Facebook Live. I'm just helping out by showing around here on Christmas, Adam. That's the day before Christmas Eve. Hi. So you're absolutely right, online viewer. You should know what you have in the store. And any one of the actual paid employees would absolutely know. But as for me, I'm just a random dude on the internet who's just trying to entertain you for literally nothing. So I will be better in the future. I promise. I promise I will be better. Okay? Yes, I will. That's a legit point. You know? Coming to a toy store, like, hey, Shredder Mobile. I'm like, huh? Here's the Shredder Mobile. <laughs> you're like, no. Uh, you know. But uh, the Shredder Mobile in the glass case isn't in a box. And, you know, it's been 35 years. And there's been a lot of sleep since then. I've been in a few car accidents. You know, I've been under anesthesia a few times. Got some medical bills. Like, you know, not sure which one's the Shredder Mobile. I apologize. I'm so sorry. Um, so they say it was the one at the bottom? Okay. Well, that one is fifty nine ninety nine. There you go. And I learned something today. Thank you. Okay. What else we got here? Oh, we got some really cool vehicles, um, GI Joe vehicles. We got all kinds of different um, vehicles from the 80s and 90s in here um, that are loose uh, or loose complete. Different tanks, boats, uh, attack craft, um, the wagon here, cool stuff. Um, over here we have some of the, uh, uh, I got a couple of the helicopters and uh, we got the uh, the big the big Cobra Condor, which comes across, uh, come, come uh, breaks in half. I thought that was so cool when I was a kid that you could break that in half. That was neat. A big toy to run around and play with. Um, we have this uh, Millennium Falcon uh, in the box here. That's just pretty cool. You know, a couple of Christmases ago, a long time back, that was a really special thing, neat thing. Here um, we got the um, uh, the Defiant spaceship for GI Joe, and it's kind of you know all uh, connected there. Fun playset. There's a, uh, a different variation of Castle Grayskull. This one's $129.99. I believe that's, um, I believe that's a, a remake. We got a Ghostbusters firehouse over here, $249.99. And then, of course, you have the Ghostbusters um, Ecto and the Ghost Nabber and a lot of different Ghostbusters figures. It was a great movie. It came out recently. Uh, a lot of fun. Just stuff from all over toy history here at Dallas Vintage Toys. And that's the whole point of today's live video, guys, is that if you're watching from anywhere in North Texas and you're part of our local audience, you're going to find that 
today and tomorrow is very difficult to just buy toys. You can't really order them online. You can't get overnight shipments. You can't really go even to your local department stores. Most of these guys have been really cleaned out. And even if they weren't, they have a bunch of just boring modern toys. What you really want is the good stuff. That's what we have here at Dallas Vintage Toys, the good stuff. The classic toys, the classic action figures, the Transformers, the G.I. Joes, the Ninja Turtles, the He-Man, the cool stuff that you really want. That's what we got here at Dallas Vintage Toys. And my message to you is that we're going to be open today until 6 and tomorrow, Christmas Eve, December 24th, until 5 p.m. So it's not too late to hop in the car and come shop at Dallas Vintage Toys. Do we have any more questions here? Yeah, right here. So there's a bunch of different ones, right? Um, so for example, uh, this Black Series Luke Skywalker helmet here is $249.99. Um, this Mandalorian helmet is uh, $149.99. We have uh, a Poe helmet here. And the Poe helmet is $129.99. We've got a Black Series wedge helmet here is $149.99. So they're just different prices, prices as marked, but we do have uh, Wedge, Poe, Mando, Darth, and uh, two Luke um, X-Wing helmets all right here and in stock today. So if you'd like one of those, um, we have them here for you and that can make a great Christmas gift. Any other questions? Okay. Well, I uh, just want to close out and say thank you guys so much for a, an incredible year of business. It's been an awesome year here at Dallas Vintage Toys. And on behalf of Sean and, uh, and everyone here at the Toy Store, we want to thank you guys, our social media fans, for tuning into our Facebook Lives and all of our fun social media content. If you are local, we'd love to see you here in the Toy Store before we close tomorrow on Christmas Eve at 5 p.m. But if we don't, we'll see you continually right here on our social medias and always online at DallasVintageToys.com. We'll see you later. My name is Jared.